It is hard to imagine Pirates of the Caribbean 6 without Johnny Depp as the iconic Captain Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp has been impressing us with his performance since the first part. His performance in the first movie made him an overnight superstar, and his popularity as Captain Jack continued to skyrocket over the next few Pirates of the Caribbean movies. But things started changing when Johnny's ex-wife Amber filed a case against him. She accused Johnny of domestic violence and abuse. This was the very reason Pirates of the Caribbean franchise was taken back from him. Kids Most Loved Johnny Depp last played his iconic anti-hero character of Captain Jack Sparrow in 2017's Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Tales. He also reprised his role in the last four installments of Pirates of the Caribbean. Hello guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular videos about your favorite movies. Also comment down below what you want to see next and I'll make it for you. On April 16th, the Spanish newspaper asked Johnny Depp if he misses playing Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean. No, I don't miss it, because I have it every day. I always carry it with me. I travel with Captain Jack in my suitcase. I belong to Jack Sparrow and he's loyal to me," said Johnny Depp. He explained about why he carries the apparel of Captain Jack by saying that he always wants to keep himself ready for the fans who wish to see him as Captain Jack Sparrow. Johnny has a great track record of entertaining children as Captain Jack. Well, we see very little support from people around him. At least one of Depp's former co-stars in the franchise utterly believes that Johnny should be in the Pirates of the Caribbean 6 to conclude the franchise's storyline that began with him as the key character. In a recent chat with Express, Greg Ellis, who has played the character of Lieutenant Groves in Pirates of the Caribbean films, shared that even though Disney has confirmed that Johnny Depp is no longer part of the franchise, the next film in the series needs to bring him back for tying up its loose ends. Depp not being there as Jack Sparrow in the final film is like not having Captain Kirk in the original Star Trek. In a perfect world, that's how the franchise would have wrapped up its current storyline, with Jack Sparrow seeing it through the end. But back in 2018, when domestic violence allegations against Johnny Depp surfaced, the studio's production chief, Sean Bailey, confirmed to The Hollywood Reporter that neither the sequel to Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Tales nor the spin-off set to star Margot Robbie and written by Christina Hodson will feature Jack Sparrow. Then last year, it was speculated that the upcoming films in the franchise might at least include a cameo by Johnny Depp, but soon The Hollywood Reporter revealed that the same idea has already been pitched by franchise producer Jerry Bruckheimer and it was reportedly shot down by Disney. But even though Disney has parted with the actor who made Pirates of the Caribbean one of the highest grossing film franchises and Depp has also lost other projects as well, Greg Ellis believes that soon he'll be back on the silver screen. There has also been a petition making the rounds since November 2020 to bring Johnny Depp back to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and it has recently reached its goal of 500,000 signatures. But now the benchmark has been shifted to 1 million signatures and it looks like the petition will soon achieve this milestone as well. Whether that will be enough to budge Disney is something only the future will tell.